As we walk into the manor house and there are these beautiful antiques and these five people who are going to taste our food, it's hugely intimidating because we think that we taste pineapple and tropical fruits, but there is really no like great certainty there. You will have 60 minutes within which to create a dish worthy of a Niederberg classic. Myself and your judges for the day will be waiting for you in the manor house. And your time starts now. It's quite fruity, but it's still dry. It's quite punchy. It's quite strong tasting wine. With the fruity notes from the white wine, we decided to do a little salmon cake. We need to take the, the fish. <laughs> we looked for the fruits that we thought that we could pick up in the wine. Let's take an orange and a lemon and a lime. Okay. <laughs> I started deboning the salmon as soon as I got out of the pantry. Um, I wanted the salmon pieces to be quite integrous. I didn't want it to be mush. Tell us about your plan. Okay, what's, so what's we're going plan? with a salmon fish cake and an avocado ice cream with a tropical fruit salsa. Are you confident about your dish that you've chosen? It's very, very fruity, the wine, so I think it will work really well with fish and a little bit of spice included in that fish cake. Well, good luck to the yellow team. Thank you. Thank you. Whilst Philippa is busy with the, the salmon, I decide to get cracking with the, the Ava ice cream as it needs time to churn and to harden in the machine. Philippa and Roxy, you've been cooking for 15 minutes and you need to be serving up in 45 minutes time. So you need to keep on moving, you need to work fast. Our discerning guests are waiting. They're looking forward to see how and what you've come up with to pair with a beautiful Shannon Blanc. I think I was more aware than Roxy that we were kind of really getting to a crunch time. And I genuinely was worried that we weren't going to get stuff onto a plate. The dish is looking great, but you need to finish it off. You don't want to serve it half, yeah? Yes, Chef. I'm pretty confident that the tastes are right. We tasted the Chenin Blanc in the beginning, but because of the mad hysterical rush at the end, we didn't actually eat our food and taste the wine. Just put a little bit more in that one and then we're fine. I found the pace of today's challenge quite fun because it also puts that pressure on you to finish in time. 10 seconds remain. Sommeliers are waiting. We don't want them to wait for us for too long, guys. In those last seconds, it all came together. We did it on time and it looks really good and the flavours are there. As I opened those doors and marched out of the Master Chef kitchen, I just thought we've got to get there because those people are going to taste our food and then they've got to talk about our food and then we've got to get back and then we've got to cook a whole other thing and we better do it now, now, now. It's yes. pretty, it's very pretty. So after plating our food, we have to do the great trek to the manor house um, through the, the Niederberg estate. Ah, welcome the yellow team. Hello. As we walk into the manor house and there are these beautiful antiques and these five people who are going to taste our food, it's hugely intimidating because we think that we taste pineapple and tropical fruits, but there is really no like great certainty there. Good morning. Morning. We're the yellow team and today we're serving you salmon fish cake with a tropical salsa, leafy salad with an oriental dressing. The tropical fruits are going to pick up the flavors that we found in the Chenin Blanc. The salmon will be a sweetness and richness that will complement the Chenin Blanc nicely. Thank you. Thank you. It's like any joy. The avocado ice cream, which is at the top, is just for you to place onto the fish cakes and eat as you would. Cool. What are your impressions? Personally, I really enjoyed the pineapple. For me, it really lifted the flavours of the Chenin Blanc, just worked well together. Yeah, what did you think of the pear? Uh, um, personally, for me, the avocado is a little creamy, a little rich for the, for the particular wine. Um, I'd love to eat that on its own, just nice and fresh on a good summer day. Miguel, your thoughts? There's a citrus character that left the whole component. There is the creaminess of the avo, 
But overall, it's a combination that works with Chenin Blanc. Bongi, what do you think? I like the chili and, and, and the wine didn't clash with it. I think though, the actual fish cake would do with more salt or pepper. Gregory, what did you think of the combination? I was a bit uh, concerned with the tropical fruit there. Uh, the pineapple being a bit of a sweet element, but the chili really um, tones it down nicely and it complements the flavour of the wine, which is a bit tropical. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Yellow team. Thank you. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm feeling quite happy with what we've, we've done. Getting quite a lot of positive feedback mm -hmm. that also helps feel better about what you've presented. Time to score the yellow team. I'm just thinking of that wine and the flavours that we tasted. Because it's also it's rather dry. It is quite dry, that, that mm -hmm. red wine.